Hey guys, me Dexter. Uh, I'm recording this right now on my new S8 um, Plus from from Samsung. So let's see how this one goes. All right, um, I know it's been a while. My last review was on Power Rangers, and I hope you guys, a few of you guys saw it, so I hope you guys like it. But um, I'm doing a couple of reviews right now. One is Split. Now it's from M Night Shyamalan. Now I know you guys had that bad taste with the the whole M Night situation when he did the Last Airbender, but it apparently this one is actually pretty good and I've seen it it's it holds up and it links to a certain other movie that you have to go see so you have to watch it to get it and most of you have probably already seen it already and you know what I'm talking about now overall the movie set up pretty well so that um, the, it can have a lot of character development so that you can actually follow uh, follow it uh, all the way through now the, it cringes on certain uh, issues and those issues are uh, like child molestation uh, basically, uh, you, you see in a movie. Um, but overall, the acting on it, James McAvoy, man, this this guy can act like phenomenally. I mean, he played all the characters so well that he made you kind of believe that this kind of person do exist in the real world. Now, uh, I myself, when I, uh, the first time I heard about it, I was kind of like iffy on it because uh, the visit when uh, M Night Shyamalan came up with the visit, it was okay. But uh, after hearing other people kind of saying Split was like pretty uh, good, I'm like, All right, you know what, I'll give it a shot. After seeing it, yes, I do agree, it is actually really, really, really good. Um, the acting is on point. The twist that M. Night always do in this movie, this one is not as, uh, I would say, uh, bad or anything like that. It is a good twist. and. Uh, it, it works well, and it's, the subtleness of it works really well for the movie. So, if you haven't seen Split yet, go see Split. It's actually a very good movie overall, alright? And you'll understand what I mean by James McAvoy being one, to me right now, uh, he's like one of the best actors I've seen, alright? And I mean, I'm not saying that he is the best, but one of the best I've seen, alright? Um, now, next one. Next one is Skull Island. Uh, uh, Kong, Kong Skull Island, sorry. And this one is actually was really good as well now the character development in this one wasn't that great but it still keeps you entertained uh, from from one character to the other character um, was it uh, Samuel L. Jackson of course he's playing this uh, Vietnam vet ca character and uh, it, it doesn't hold a lot I mean he's not really the villain of the movie or anything like that but some part of it you made you feel like kind of he is but he's not um, and then uh, Tom Hiddleston, of course, he's this like specialized British tracker, which sounds kind of cool. Brie Larson, of course, she's you know um, uh, the, the the photographer, and I like I like the take on this one. It's not your uh, throwback to where oh you know Greta fell in love with a human girl and you know something like that and took up, up, up to the Empire State Building or anything like that, which to me would have been uh, like alright whatever I've seen it before oh and done, done, done. this one is different this one it basically is like like I said it's called Skull Island and you're going to this island that was never discovered before by man and now they've seen it and of course it looks like a skull right um, so they went to discover and they discovered like all these other creatures that's there that giants beasts and monsters that lives there and uh, uh, was a uh, John C. Riley is this pilot and you can see it uh, when you see it, this pilot that that discovered it. Well, not really discovered, it kind of crash landed. All right. All right. Anyway, uh, overall, the movie is actually good. It's not great, but it's good. The reason why I gotta say it that way because uh, the fact that I, it, although I enjoyed it, uh, the the movie itself is surrounded. Uh, it's basically about Kong himself. The the human character in there, it, they're just there to kind of like guide the story. But um, without Kong, it, it, it will be like nothing. It's just like, okay, they're on an island. They're trying to get out. That's basically about it. Um, and the cool thing about that is, is that um, the cool thing about Kong, sorry, the cool thing about Kong that, that I actually enjoy very much is that every single, every single time uh, Kong comes out, you know, that you, you feel his presence, which is actually pretty cool. Now, a lot of people may, may feel like, oh, he's too human like because he, he walks on you know all two legs but you gotta think I mean he's a giant gorilla that basically is a giant gorilla I mean like he's no and you know spoiler alert uh, on there he is still growing I mean he is still growing so 
Uh, this is set in the 70s, so technically Godzilla, now not to do, not to uh, ruin the movie for you, the world that make that movie, just to, get, just to let you guys know ahead of time, uh, will come out. So I'm thinking they're just going to grow King Kong into the size of Godzilla, basically, alright? Um, but anyway, go see the movie. It actually is really good. If you haven't seen it, go go to the Dollar Theater, check it out. If not, rent it or you know Netflix it or uh, whatever you guys want to do. I personally will Amazon it. <laughs> you know, they come out rent through Amazon, uh, Fire Stick, of course. Um, but yeah, those are the two movies that I, I like. I would love you guys to go check out um, as well. So in the United States wise. Now, with that being said, uh, with, with all the, the the hype and everything else, it's not really exactly hype. It's actually a, those two movies are are actually really, really good. Um, I'm doing this live, so live. My I'm not editing any of this, so if I fumble or anything, if I stutter, I'm I apologize ahead of time. It's just that this is going on right now. All right. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, uh, quick news for you guys. Uh, I will be doing more of this. My next review will basically be Garden of the Galaxy Volume Two. So I am going to do that review. I I'm not going to put it off. Uh, I'm going to start doing more and more and more review. Uh, with maybe some guests that's going to come along uh, and we're going to discuss it and you know roughly hopefully we'll keep it uh, in, a, in a good time frame now uh, overall um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please subscribe some more uh, if not let me know what I can do to improve myself upon it but um, just let me know I, I like criticism you know good or bad I, I'll take it I'll take the criticism uh, my angle of the camera I'm sorry it's from an angle of a cell phone so I'm using whatever I have, uh, you know, I don't have a big giant studio, so right now you're looking at this, it's basically from my cell phone, uh, from Samsung uh, Galaxy S8 Plus, um, and it's my first time doing the video on this particular phone. Uh, let's see now, oh, uh, you guys do like uh, foreign uh, film, I do recommend this uh, a film, uh, it's called Drug War, uh, check it out, it's actually really, really good, uh, it's a Hong Kong flick. Uh, so, um, the actor's name, and there was, uh, I think, Aaron, I believe it was Aaron Kwa. Okay, Aaron Kwa is in that movie. But, go see that movie. It's called Drug War. Uh, go, go, like, rent it or or uh, stream it uh, from somewhere and look for it and, and check it out. It's actually a really, really good foreign film. Um, you do have to follow the story. Uh, it, it, to me, it's a true villain story this the character the main character I'm, I'm gonna let you know now he is a villain and he will do anything and everything to get away all right uh, do not let the the, the the when you watch the film do not let his uh, uh, there's a part in there where you're thinking oh, he's reclaiming his humanity he's helping he's helping the good guys no 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 none of that just be prepared he is a villain all right uh, so check it out the movie's called drug war um, it's from Hong, it's, a, it's a Hong Kong flip. Um, and that's basically about it. Oh, uh, just one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Um, here's a little rant for you. Here's a little rant for you because this is film fan rant. Of course, we gotta do a, we gotta do a rant now, right? Um, there's a movie that you guys should go. That should, the movie that, that you guys. There's a movie that you guys should really watch. Is a is a is a, uh, it's a really good film. It's called The Girl The Girl with All the Gifts. Okay. And it's, 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 it's a horror movie, and I can't believe how much I enjoyed that movie. Uh, the reason why is because I was just thinking more of the post-apocalyptic, not a zombie movie, but it got a whole different take on it that uh, you didn't expect. Yes, there are zombies, but um, they, it, 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 it changes the story a bit because basically the zombie, there are two types of zombies, basically, I'm not going to the two, two types of zombies. There's zombies that are just like the Walking Dead zombies, and there are zombies that's kind of like the the uh, what the the new Dawn of the Dead kind of zombies, and then there are the human zombies. And when I say human zombie, you have to watch them to understand what I mean by human zombies. And I believe you guys are gonna enjoy it, enjoy it very much. Um, the movie, I I don't think it hit like many theaters. I was doing like only a few select theaters, or I went straight to VOD. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but. Uh, it actually, it actually was a very enjoyable horror movie, and it had a really good uh, new take on like a, a, an end of the world kind of situation with zombies. All right. Um, oh, and um, 
if uh, if uh, Brad Pitt ever see this video, uh, the one thing that I would love for them to do for World War Z 2, which would never happen, he would never see this video anyway, so it doesn't really matter much. Um, Train to Busan. Train to Busan is basically, to me, it's like a prequel to War War Z. All right, the reason why because you watch Train to Busan, it pretty much take place in Korea. Now the cool part about that is you watch World War Z, there's a, there's a sequence in World War Z where they had to go to the origin to where, where it took place, which is Korea. So when you watch two movies back to back, I feel like I'm watching the prequel to World War Z before World War Z ever started and how everything kind of uh, uh, unfold. So it was actually a really good take on it and if for any reason, if they even just they had to, they, they could just mention Train to Busan, like the the situation that happened in, in Korea in World War Z two, just just to say that that movie linked to it. Oh man, that would make my day. But again, this is just basically uh, you know one man's dream of basically having this massive crossover universe between two world World War Zs and Train to Busan. Um, but anyway, go check those movie out I just mentioned. Um, was it uh, Train to Busan? Is one of them? I remember that. Uh, that's a foreign film, Korea Korean film. Um, and uh, Girl All to Give is my rant for the day for that one. It's actually really good too. Go check it out. And also, Drug War. You will enjoy that movie very much. But you do have to follow the story. You don't follow the story a bit, you're going to get uh, lost to it. But uh, you know, you enjoy it. Um, but beyond that, thank you very much for following me, for watching the, the video. And I'm sorry it's taking such a long time for me to post up a new one. But I hope you guys enjoy it very much. Now, let me, like I said, let me know what I can do to improve upon this. But most of my video now will basically be done through the Samsung S8 Plus for for the time being. Until I get the Note 8, maybe. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Bye.